to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a empties video. I'm going to show you the products that I used and are empty now. It has some hair products, shower gels, uh, makeup products. So if you're excited to see what I used and what I would repurchase, then definitely keep on watching. These videos were really popular a few years back, but I still really love to see this kind of videos. I also love to see what other people use and what they would repurchase. So yes, that's what I'm going to do today. If you're new here on my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and I share on my channel a lot of beauty, lifestyle, Disney and vlogs. So if you like to see those videos, definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And now let's get started. So let's start with the biggest bottle and that is my shampoo. So this is from L'Oreal and everything is again writing in Turkish because I am living in Turkey. But of course I will put a link down below. This shampoo is from L'Oreal El Vif and it's for normal to dry hair. And because my hair is quite long and dry, I really love to use a shampoo that has some um, oils or something inside that makes my hair soft. It's a big bottle, it goes a long way because um, if you wash your hair, you only have to focus on your scalp and not as much as uh, the length. If you use a lot of shampoo in the lengths, it gets more tangled up, more dry. So make sure you only wash your scalp because if you wash it out, it already goes in the length of your hair. Really nice shampoo. I already bought another bottle, so I would highly recommend this. If you also like to see a hair care routine, uh, let me know in the comments so I can show you all the products I use for my hair. Then let's see, the next thing is a mascara. The packaging is quite damaged, but it's the Volume Elixir Mascara. Ooh. And it's from Yves Roger. So this is how the brush looks from the mascara. It's just a really regular brush, I would say. Nice mascara, makes my lashes quite full. I like Yves Roger products, but um, nothing too special. It's just a regular mascara. Not that I say, oh my God, my lashes never look better. I think I had it for over a year. Yeah, some people say that's disgusting, but I had it, I think, for 12 months. So it goes quite a long way. The next product is, again, a hair product. And it's from Dove. And this is the uh, conditioner with coconut. The bottle is a little bit wet because uh, now I just used it for the last time because it's really empty right now. This conditioner is with coconut and I purchased this, I believe, in the summertime. So again, it goes quite a long way. I will definitely repurchase this in the summertime because right now I got another one from Dove because I really love coconut, I'm obsessed with it. But mostly in the summertime, in the winter I find coconut not that pleasant. So yes, I would repurchase this, but in the summertime. And again, it makes my hair really soft. As you can see, I used this this morning. I didn't put any oil in my hair, just this one, shampoo and a spray. So um, yes, Dove has always a lot of nice hair products. So definitely one of my favorites. Then the next product, let's see my favorite mascara. If you follow me a long time, you know this is my favorite. I mentioned it almost every time. And it's finished now. It's just uh, all dried out, as you can see. And it's the Essence I Heart Crazy Volume Mascara. Of course, I would uh, repurchase this again. I bought it a lot of times. One of my favorite mascaras, really affordable. It's about two euros, I believe. So um, yes, of course, I would repurchase this again and try this out if you haven't yet. The next product is another hair product and it's again from Yves Rocher. And this is the Reflex Natural Highlight Shampoo, Silver Highlight Shampoo. This is a shampoo especially for silver or blonde hair. And about once a week I use a silver shampoo so my hair stays nice, a little bit more ash toned, not too warm. So I always love to use different silver shampoos just to try out uh, different ones, which one works best. It is quite a nice shampoo, it makes your hair a little bit more ash toned. But because the concentration is quite low, it's not that purpley. If you want to wash your hair every time with a silver shampoo, you can use something like this, which is less concentrated. But because I only want to use it once a week, because I find silver shampoo makes your hair more dry than a, a normal shampoo. 
then I would recommend using another one maybe from Swatchkov which is more concentrated and more purpley when you use this only one or two times I don't know I don't see such a big difference like for example my father he have gray hair and he always washes his hair with a silver shampoo silver shampoo then you can definitely purchase something like this which is a little bit less concentrated the next product is a concealer and this is again one of my favorites it's from Catrice and it's the liquid camouflage high coverage concealer Again, a really affordable beauty product. I discovered this concealer many years ago and I just really love it. The coverage is really great and it's not too expensive. It's about 4 euros, I believe. I've got this in the color uh, 10 porcelain. I believe also they got now a 5, which is a little bit lighter. Maybe I will try that because as you can see, I'm quite pale. But um, yes, I really really love this uh, concealer and I will definitely repurchase this again. I have one extra already. So um, yes, one of my favorites. The next thing is a lip balm and it's from Nivea and it's the Hydro Care with SPF 15. And I hear a lot of thunder, I'm sorry. <laughs> this lip balm I purchased this summer because I was looking for a uh, lip balm with SPF in it. And this is just a really simple, as you can see, there's just the tiniest bit left, but yeah, it's, it's empty. It's a nice lip balm without the scent, without the color. So if you're looking for a really simple lip balm, this would be uh, great for you. She also got like the baby lips with some color in it. But yes, I think this is a great lip balm to use in the summer. Maybe if you go to the beach or something, just really simple and uh, plain one. The next thing is a foundation and it's the Flormar Anti-Blemish Foundation. Again, the packaging looks really rough. I really love this foundation. In the bottle, it looks a little bit dark. And also, I use this mostly um, in the summer or spring when I'm a little bit more tan. But yes, a really lovely foundation. I'm not really sure if Flormar sells it anymore. Because the other day, I went into Flormar and I didn't saw it. So, I'm not really sure. I thought it gives a really nice coverage. Medium to high coverage. You can quite build it up nicely. The next thing is another shower item and it's from Fa and it's the Festival Chic Shower Cream Free Spirit with Bloomy Chic and Rose Scent. So this is a really nice shower gel. It smells a little bit like roses, really floral, really floral and summery scents. And uh, yes, the bottle is also quite cute and I think this is just a really nice shower gel. Not too special, but just, yeah, a nice one. Especially maybe for in the summer because it's quite floral. I think for the summertime this one is really nice. Then I got only two things left and the first one is a cream. And this is from Yves Roger and this is the Pro Ritonol Vegetal. I'm not really sure, but it's a day cream. As you can see, I used everything. I mostly used this near my eyes. I find it quite nice for there. Yes, it was a nice cream. It goes quickly into the skin. It's not really moisturizing. My skin is quite dry. So um, I needed a little bit more, I would say. But maybe if you have oily to normal skin, this one will be quite nice for you. And then the last product is my eyeliner. And this is from Essence. And it's the Liquid Ink Eyeliner Waterproof. I used it again today and yes, this is one of my favorite eyeliners. It's not smudgy and it's also easy to take off with uh, makeup wipes or a makeup remover. The only thing is with the tip, it's not so easy to make a wing. It takes a little bit of practice, but I still really like this. So this was my empties video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content. If you also like to see more empties videos, let me know in the comments down below so I won't throw my products away but I will save them up for a video and of course you can also follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos bye